Hi, everybody. I'm Patrick Chan, the co-founder and executive director of IITTI Worlds of Leader Index. And today with me, it's uh, an honor. It's with uh, Carolina Tan, a soft skill expert. And we're going to be talking about something today uh, about confidence, about how you can acquire it, how you can keep it, and what is the use of confidence. So Carolina, uh, if you may. Thank you so much. Hi, Patrick. And hello to our ET subscribers and followers. It's always wonderful to be seeing you uh, week in and week out. So first of all, how do we define confidence, right? Because many times people think that this is a word that's been either under or overused. Well, this has to, this has to do with a state of feeling certain about the truth of something, a feeling of self-assurance, you know, and this comes out because we appreciate one's abilities and qualities. No one can actually like um, question why that is such because each person has his or her unique abilities and skill sets. So it's very important to be grounded in that regard. So Patrick, how can we make this relevant uh, today? Mm -hmm. You actually, I know, have um, some, some things or thoughts going on in your mind. <laughs> like always, always have something in my mind. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, confidence. Uh, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a young person, and over the years, I have learned a few things about what what confidence really is. And as a young person, I was just a nervous wreck, and uh, I used to play the cello. And uh, one thing that taught me was, you know, you you have to overcome your fear of performing. In front of a in front of an audience, you know, if you play any kind of musical instruments, that's something you have to do, and that was really hard. I find it to be really hard. Um, and the teacher said, "Well, you know, Patrick, there's nothing to it. You know, you you know exactly what music you're gonna play. Uh, you have all everything under your control. All the elements in a concert hall is under your control. It's really up to you." Now, if you never practice and you you miss uh, the music and you miss the notes, you didn't play, you play out of tune and so on, it's all your fault. Nobody it's a disgrace when <laughs> <laughs> that happens. So, so, you know, as a young teenager, I go, oh my gosh, you know, it is really me. So, um, so I practice something like three hours a day, you know, as a, as a teenager, 15, 16 year old. And, uh, you know, I got other interests. I got lots of interests in my life, but I still practice three hours, uh, half an hour here, half an hour there. Three hours. Hour. Mm. Yes. Six session. Every time it's about half an hour. And in between, I do other things. I, I, I go out, play video games, friends as well. But it really helped, you know, day in, day out. It's that day in, day out grind that, when the when when the time comes to to having the recital, having the concert, I wasn't nervous. I was not nervous at all because I said, "Well, I've done this, you know, thousands of times, and this is just one out of that one thousand times." And what could go wrong? Uh, sure enough, you know that that used to be the the famous saying, "What could go wrong?" But nothing went wrong because even if something goes wrong. I have enough experience in my practice that I can compensate for it. You know, that, hey, you know, uh, a fly flew by, you know, I, 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 can, I can handle it and I can, I can keep going. So nothing can distract me because I, I have learned how to, how to have the flexibility of things not going right. And I, I still keep on going to that, going to that direction there. Without without veering off off of course, so to speak, it's like having that muscle memory because since you've done the the x number of hours, you have actually put the work and the practice into it, so it makes everything feel more natural and easier. But in reality, we all know that nothing uh, nothing is easy, especially at the startup. So uh, when we keep trying, when we keep doing, and uh, we keep going, you know, the day comes when um, it will actually. Uh, simplify on its own and um, if it's the right track for us then by all means it would just um, we would just like flow through it as if everything is just like a breeze but uh, not not literally a breeze because if you look back then of course the number of months years you 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 
labored for it actually counts. So um, it, it's uh, now I, I gave you an example where, like, like I said, you know, all the elements were under my control. You know, the audience will not come up and throw an apple at me. And, you know, those those are the kind of things that will never happen, uh, thankfully. But in business uh, or in sales or anything like that, that you deal with other people. Now, that's much harder because I think because not all the elements are under your control. There could be some really nasty personality coming up to you and just turning everything upside down. And what do you do? You know, that is that really tests your everything. Um, and, and I think the confidence will come in. And do you have the confidence, the courage to face those situations uh, and take it on a on a moment by moment basis? So, so I think I think at that point that your value comes in big time. You know, wh how what do you believe in? Uh, are you going to be standing there and stop the bullet, uh, literally in <laughs> you know in really dangerous situation because of your value? Um, it's 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 not as easy as as you know uh, as someone would say. It, it takes a lot of thinking about about what your value is and what you really what you really stand for i think we also need to understand that part of life and the growth process is is the process of handling rejections because you know not everyone will like us and not everything we do uh, will exactly go the way we want it to so when things don't go our way then by all means we can just uh, move on we can just learn from it and uh, not take it personally by the way there are many benefits as to how confidence you know, really like a place, an important factor and how we can actually build it. When we are, when somebody is a confident person, we feel less anxious, mm. meaning we are not as fearful as maybe during our younger days, right? Because at the back of our mind, it's like, I've already seen this before or somehow like a previous experience has mm. taught you something. Yeah. So apart from that, of course, part of the wisdom of the ages is that there's also what we call an increased sense of self-worth. Because um, when we can literally hold our head up high, so that means uh, we really appreciate and embrace whatever values, whatever skill sets we have. And that uh, whatever somebody else ends up saying, uh, it, it, it won't affect us to the very core because we, more than anyone else, would know who we are as an individual. And as always, a confident person will always have a batting, a higher batting average of a greater success in life. So when we are able to achieve things uh, faster with more ease, of course, um, you know, trajectory wise, that is actually um, a, a, a big factor. Well, mm. let me quote here. I, I remember uh, the former first lady, Michelle Obama, mm. she said uh, in one of her talks, your success will be determined by your own confidence and fortitude. So, which is actually very true. Likewise, at 2 Timothy 1 7, for the spirit God gave does not make us timid, but give us power, love, and self discipline. So, regardless of um, uh, books, whether like uh, human written books like Bible, etc. So we can always learn like inspirational insights from mm -hmm. from from all of this to be able to build our self worth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so much to talk about when it comes to you know building confidence and so on. It's not an overnight success. I don't. I don't think uh, e even uh, people that you may look at as as being very confident, uh, they 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 feel fear. You know as well and 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 the idea is that it's not that you don't feel fear it's that you keep on going in spite of the fear you have and that will increase the confidence that is uh the courage so uh yeah uh well this is a great conversation and uh we have a lot more to say but thank you very much uh carolina and thank we'll you see again next time Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay,